First off, let me just apologize for the terrible audio quality of this video. I don't have my normal audio recording set up for screen captures set up currently, but I thought this was really important, so I wanted to show you anyway. I am in Premiere 2017 running Mac OS X Sierra, and that's 10 point whatever they're on now. It's the latest operating system for Mac, and you can see that I'm in Premiere and I cannot play back a video. It just goes black. I can pause and I can get a frame, but when I play, it just goes black. Now, I assume this is because I'm on my laptop. It's probably a little bit underpowered, but this wasn't an issue I had in 2014, 2015, uh, or any other version of Premiere. It's only 2017, and I think it's some combination of 2017 and the operating system. But if you have this problem, it's a really quick, easy fix. All you need to do is go to File, uh, Project, Settings, go to General, and you'll see that for whatever reason, they decided to change this to metal. Uh, go back to OpenCL. <laughs> that's what it used to be. And uh, you can delete the previews, that's fine. And now you'll see, once I kind of get that preview window refixed, now we can play and it plays fine. No black screen. So, really annoying bug. I don't know if it's a bug. Probably just my computer's underpowered. It's my laptop. But in any case, if you have the same problem, just change that one setting. You could also uh, go and do the other one, which is uh, software only. Uh, I don't believe it's as you know fast in terms of the uh, graphics processing and all that stuff, but uh, that probably will still work for you as well. See, I've got this like render bar, you know, the, the red render, but it still plays back fine. So, uh, you know, if you've got a problem with the black screen on playback, just go project settings, general and switch it, play around, test which one works for you. I don't know why it defaults to metal. You would think it could analyze my system and know that it wasn't gonna work. And I don't know why going to black would ever be the right solution for any <laughs> video editing software. But hey, it's the world we live in, but at least there's a fix for it.